How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you about the big bet that I'm taking on a few companies here today. Now, I have not bought these companies in bulk yet. Uh, I'm getting ready to. This is not one of them here, Tattoo Chef. I'm just, I need to tell you what I'm seeing in the market though, uh, and tell you what problems I'm seeing, which will lead you to understand my thinking behind this a little bit. Before we get into it, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. I finally finished the background. This thing is massive. Uh, hopefully, it will help with the sound a little bit, and hopefully, it's a little bit better looking than just a gray background. So, uh, I appreciate you guys hitting the like button for that. Also, hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. While you're down there, in case you want some free stocks, there is a link down there to Weeble. You can get two free stocks worth up to $1,850 just for signing up. I've gotten a free share of Facebook in the past. So definitely check that out. Just make sure you deposit $100 to get those free stocks. And there is a link down there to BlockFi in case you want interest rate on your cryptocurrency and a bonus of $250 worth of Bitcoin just for signing up. I mean, cryptos are up. So I would definitely consider that if you guys are interested in crypto at all because they do pay an interest rate. So thank you guys for that. And let's look at the charts here. So Tattoo Chef up 24% over the last month. Palantir over the last six months down 5%. Over the last month, up 22%. We can take a look at a lot of different stocks. I mean, we could go through the list here of all the stocks that are up pretty significantly in the last month or so. What we saw was a massive dip in the mid to late May time range, and we saw that all the way back from March. What I was saying at the time, and I've said this the whole time, if you're in the Patreon where I tell you everything that I buy and sell, you know that I was sounding the alarms to buy, buy, buy. I kept on buying, I kept on buying, I kept on buying. I was excited on the red days. I was not as excited on the green days because I felt like uh, it was a lot of fake green, right? We had a day of green and then two days of red and then a day of green and then two days of red. So I was happy when we saw Tattoo Chef at $16, $17. I had a good amount of cash. After that happened, I spent a lot of my cash. Like uh, back in March, April, May, I spent a good portion of my cash. Now, what I'm running into is all these are up and I have a, a decent amount of cash now because I finished with the house, I bought the house and everything. Uh, I just finished some of my tax stuff. So I know how much I have to invest and I have a decent amount to invest. But what I'm seeing is everything is getting more expensive. Now, Tattoo Chef itself, I still like the company. I still like Palantir. I still like Clean Spark. Those are my three largest holdings. I still like them at the prices they're at if you're looking long term. But these are by no means the the fire sales we had a month ago. Crypto is up 20 to 30% just over the last week because of uh, Elon Musk talking about how he is going to start accepting Bitcoin again. Now, it might actually be two weeks because you can see here on the seven days, some of these are actually down. But Crypto was up pretty significantly uh, over the last day compared to where it was a couple weeks ago when Bitcoin was flown around 31,000. And the thing is, it's getting a little bit harder to buy, right? Because so many things are up. Everyone wants to buy when they're up, 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 up. Uh, but that's oftentimes a bad time to buy. Now, by no means am I bearish on the market right now. I'm actually quite bullish long term, but I still love buying on the red days. I have been saying I would love a red day again because I want to buy. Now, let's talk about what I'm going to do because I actually talked a little bit about this in my video yesterday talking about how the stock, the stock market is going to be insane over the next month. But I know a lot of people didn't watch until that part of the video because it was towards the end. There are two companies that I think are going to be great. Now, of course, this is not financial advice, but these companies, I think, are some of the best companies in the world. They both have really exciting things uh, that make me think that they're, I don't want to say undervalued because they've grown a lot in value, but that make them really attractive to me. The first one, let's take a look at here. It's Google. So Google, take a look at their earnings. This is quarterly. So they went from $10 earnings per share to 16 to 22 to 26. They were expecting $15.66. They were expecting it to actually decrease by, what is that, 3 or 4%. And instead, they beat expectations by 60%, 70%. So they crushed earnings. Take a look at their Ford uh, earnings per share estimate. So by the end of this year, so end of fiscal year 2021, they're expecting $87 of earnings per share. That means that they would have to come down. And 
actually come down a significant amount from the last quarter, every single quarter moving forward. So they would actually have to earn about $20 worth of earnings per share for the next three quarters. So they would have to decrease about 20% and stay stagnant there for three quarters. Well, let's take a look at 2022. They would still have to come down $2 in earnings per share for the next seven quarters to hit their 2022 estimates in earnings per share. This thing is almost a straight line. Uh, this is beautiful. I think Wall Street definitely underestimates YouTube and the ability for them to make money on YouTube, especially when you start looking at the end of the year. End of the year is by far the time that the most advertising dollars uh, go into YouTube. I mean, I get paid more in December than any other time of the year. A lot of other creators do too. Uh, so end of the year is going to be a big time. So to see them have quarter one, 2021 of $26 is quite impressive because a lot of a lot of these companies will actually dial back earnings or dial back advertising towards the beginning of the year because they want to conserve it a little bit. And Google obviously is a big advertising company. So to see them increase earnings this much is pretty significant. Now, their price has gone up. Their price has definitely gone up recently. If we take a look at the one year here, it's gone from about $1,400 a share up to $2,500, which is it's tough when you want to buy a significant amount but their earnings i think are still under or underestimated and i think this company is going to continue to grow now it blew through a trillion dollars i think they're on the road to two trillion i want to put some money here the reason is first of all they're growing very nicely second of all take a look at the dip from last uh last february or this this last february like four months ago from high to low they went down four and a half percent a lot of other stocks were going down 40, 50, 60, 70%. Alphabet fell down 5% over a couple weeks. And since then, it's back up 20%. So they hold their value. Of course, anything can happen. They could have a big uh, you know, antitrust issue or there could be some scandal or something. But overall, it grows consistently. And I'm not just talking about the price. Their actual earnings grow consistently. I think they're underestimated. And it's just a massive company that is going to continue to branch out, grow, expand. We can also take a look at Apple. This is the other company that I'm going to be adding more to. Let's take a look at the last one year. If we look here, since September, it's traded sideways. So for nine months, it's traded sideways. They had great earnings last quarter. I think that this is another company that's going to stay right in this 110 to 140 range and not really, uh, it's not really something you have to worry about. Now, I think it will break higher, but take a look at where it was a year ago, right? It was just $85. It's still gone up 52%. I think it will break higher. The thing is, I'm going to treat these as exposure to the market that's safe, right? So, of course, uh, these might not go up as much as some penny stock or some growth stock, and I'm going to continue adding to those positions as time goes on, but the other money that I have, some other money is going to be going into Apple and Google as kind of like a piggy bank, like a break in case of emergency, right? So, if we see, if we see Tattoo Chef go down to $13 or something, I don't think it will, but let's say it goes down to $16 again. I can pull some money out of Google, some money out of Apple, throw it over there. And of course, I'll have to do my DD on why it's falling. But I see that as like a great way to diversify and to lower risk, but then also have a piggy bank where I can break it and put it into other things. I did that with index funds recently, but I like these more than index funds at this point because Apple's been trading sideways. Google, I think, has a lot of room to run. I think that these could obviously fluctuate a lot if they don't hit next quarter's expectations. But the thing is, these are gonna be great assets and while indexes are at nearly all-time highs, these are near all-time highs too, but I don't have to bet on the whole entire market. All I have to bet on is that Apple and Google, two of the best companies in the world, are gonna to continue to grow. And I think that's a pretty safe bet over the long term. Of course, I could be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. But those are the two companies that I'm going to be taking larger bets on here. And I realize they're not as sexy as like uh, Palantir or Tattooed Chef, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm out here to make money. And I think these companies are going to be great. Of course, 
like I said, uh, always do your own research, always do your own DD, but that is my thinking. Now, like I said, I'm still going to be investing in crypto, Palantir, Tattoo Chef, you know, penny stocks, everything else too. But this is going to be great for the portfolio. I want to hear your thoughts on this down below though. Do you like Google? Do you like Apple? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite large tech stock is and what your favorite like small growth stock is. I'd love to hear that too. Thank you for checking out Webull and BlockFi down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.